Templates are one of the most powerful features in AgTech for speeding up your takeoffs and GPS models. You create templates with typical cross-section information and can use them to build your roads, trenches, over excavation sections, or curb and gutter. Today I'm going to show you how to use a template to build the curb and gutter around this parking lot. Last week we elevated this gutter line using the conform selected function, but our project is still looking a little rough and the contours are still crossing through the parking lot. So let's see if we can fix that with the template. First, I'm going to hop into edit mode and I'm going to select that gutter line we elevated last week. You can apply a template to uh, multiple lines on a job. So I'm also going to hit label select here on my toolbar to grab all the gutter lines on this project. Next, I'm going to pick this capital T icon here for apply template. And then I can choose the template I want to apply from my template library. If this is your first time using a template, we have some great videos on the website that walk you through the initial template creation. But once you've created your templates, you can save them and use them on job after job. So I'm going to hit my curb and gutter template here, pick open, and AgTech brings open this template editor window. So all these dimensions could be edited here. You can just type into these boxes, but this looks pretty good for this job. We have our gutter sloping at 2% and it's half a foot tall, half a foot wide, as I can see in this nice cross section view. I hit apply and AgTech starts sweeping my template around all the gutter lines on my job. So I can watch it go through or I can hit the escape key to speed it up. Once it's done, I can see all of my new elevated line work here on this screen or I can hop into a 3D view and look at my nice defined parking lot with curb and gutter even around all my islands that we selected. The template also went ahead and trimmed out the contours that it crossed all throughout the parking lot, which gives me this nice clean model. Stay tuned next week and I'll show you how to use a template to model and calculate your over excavations.